Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to my first YouTube video on a brand new channel. Uh, now, at the time of recording this, I have no idea what I'm gonna name this channel. I wanted to make a video on this package specifically. Now it's blurred out right now because that's my address. The reason why I'm recording my address and then editing it out in post-production is because I'm pretty sure I got scammed. This is gonna be somewhat of a proof to eBay so I can get my $65 back, I think. I'm gonna flip this over so I can show you guys exactly why I think I got scammed. Uh, so this is the listing and, or this is the listing that I bid on and that I won. And as you guys can tell, there is that slight scratch on the bottom right. Now, that's not like a big deal. I don't really care as long as it's really sealed. So, you know, had the serial number, everything looked legit, had the pull tab in this picture right around here. And I thought it was fine until after I won the auction and I paid for it, I checked out the person's profile and look what they have up for bid right now. This is, uh, this is on bid. So $43 starting bid. And would you look at that? That is the same exact scratch as in the last one. And it's even the exact same picture of the pull tab in the person's hand and the same picture of the back. It's just missing the serial number sticker. I do not have super high hopes for this. I'm like I said, I'm really recording this just for eBay's uh, return policy. And I'm hoping if it is a scam, I will get a refund. Probably, probably should have used a better knife for this. Okay. Let's put this off to the side. Hmm. I'm going to try and determine whether or not this is this is fake um, or real. Some criteria is that it has to have the same serial number sticker as the one that I paid for. If it's anything different, I probably got scammed. Second criteria on top of having the serial number sticker that I paid for, the actual device has to match the serial number that is on the box. If there even is one. Let's, uh, let's open this. I mean, they, they packaged it pretty nice. Oh, I'll give them that. I did contact them and I'm like, hey, I thought it was a little bit strange that you posted the exact same listing that I bought, but without the serial number. And then they said that they had multiple of them. So hope, <laughs> I'm really hoping this is real because it'd be so awesome to unbox a, a device that came out. I think this one came out in 2000, what? 2000, 2010, yeah. Starting off, Let's drop the camera down a little bit. This, I don't think is is the one that I paid for. Let me check the serial number real quick. Is that even gonna focus? So the serial number on this one is C23D. And the one that I seem to have paid for starts with DK. Okay, I didn't get what was pictured. So maybe, you know, the person really just did have multiple of these and sold them for uh, 50 bucks. That would be pretty cool. It's a little, the box is a little more busted up than advertised, but not a huge deal. Now, maybe they just had a stockpile and gave me one with a different serial number, and that's fine as long as it's real. Now, another criteria to tell if this thing is real is if there is any contamination. I'm talking about a single fingerprint on the screen. I'm gonna be super suspicious. It is, it is, it is pretty beaten up, but like I said, that's okay. I'm gonna search up the serial number real quick. So if I use the serial number to find out the date of the manufacturer, I can probably kind of guess what iOS version it's gonna be on. Hmm. Okay, well, it can't be on iOS 5. If it's on anything above iOS 4, it's, uh, it's fake. We will see. But so far, I mean, it looks, it looks pretty real. This iPod has been sitting in this box for 12 years, six months, and 10 days. 2010, uh, December 21st of 2010, and was when this device was manufactured. And, well, that was a long time ago. Uh, I think at the time I was maybe, yeah, I was about seven years old. That's interesting. Um, maybe it's just been baking in the sun for so long that perhaps it's stuck to it, but, oh, uh, well. Yeah. That's interesting for sure. Um, I'm not really even sure how to do the proper unboxing because that pull tab, oh, that was my fault. I was supposed to, 
<laughs> okay, obviously I've never opened one of these. I pulled that wrong. That's my mistake. Um, let's see. Wow, that, that kind of ruins it. Yeah, all right. No. Okay, all right, there we go. There we go. Ah, uh, let me, let me smell it. Wow, that, that, oh, <laughs> that smells old. It's, uh, it's looking up from here. I don't know how to describe that, but it, it does smell old. Oh my gosh, wait, I, I gotta inspect for fingerprints here. Um, by the looks of it, I mean, that looks pretty, uh, I don't know. I, honestly, I cannot tell. I cannot tell you just, just yet. I'm, I'm telling you though, the real determining factor is whether these serial numbers for one match up and two, the iOS version that it's on. Yeah, like I said, I've never owned one of these. I'm not really sure how to go about this, but before I even try and destroy that, let's, let's take a look at what we have inside. Fingertips, yeah, wow, okay, slides off. And let's take a look at these. That's the thing I always liked about Apple devices is just it's the fingertips. I will say the font looks pretty good. This is just the product information stuff. And what the hell? Do the iPod stickers look, these Apple stickers are really small. Hold up, let me, I mean, maybe it's possible that the, It would make sense, I guess, if the iPod Touch had a different Apple sticker, but I didn't know that was the case. I guess this is weird. These two devices came out pretty similar time. I mean, I guess it is for a smaller device, so it makes sense. Um, I'm gonna put that off to the side. I'm gonna I'll deal with this iPhone 5 later. Uh, yeah, fingertips, Apple stickers, product information, very cool. Earpods, or yeah, just, these are, these are called earpods, right? There was, well, these sucked. I hated these, wearing these. They're, they're so uncomfortable. They're not very ergonomic for the ear. I much prefer the newer style, like, you know, the AirPods and the EarPods. I, I think this was well worth it so far. I, I mean, it seems legit. I, I can't really knock it on any point, especially since I have really no experience. I've unboxed many Apple products, but never an iPod Touch. I just, I just never had one. So yeah, I'm probably gonna whiff this. Uh, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm getting my fingerprints on it. I'm gonna try <laughs> and do this properly. It says pull down, so I'm gonna assume I'm supposed to pull down. And that's a very that's a very Apple-like sensation right there. I've unboxed fake AirPods before that try to mimic the Apple. How the hell do you get this out? I don't even under. Am I missing something? Hold up. It don't. <laughs> okay. Told me to pull down. And then what else do I? Do I, oh, oh, I see, I see. I'm, a, I'm still a little bit skeptical because of the price. I mean, wow, I hate that I did it like that. That felt absolutely terrible. And am I really gonna have to, no shot, okay. Am I gonna have to pull it up like that? I don't wanna do that, I don't think that's right. Wow, okay, this is a completely new experience for me and this is 12 years old and it's beating me. Hopefully you guys are able to hear this. Gonna... Wow, that feels way too difficult. I... Maybe, am I supposed to do it from the bottom? <laughs> well, I've completely botched this, but that's okay. It's just, yeah, get off. Wow, that is stuck, but I mean, jeez. Look, I'm not the strongest guy, but that felt, <laughs> That felt pretty unnecessary. That was that was a lot of force, but man, oh man, look at that. Okay, I'm actually super excited now because this is real. I apologize to the seller on eBay for uh, you know scrutinizing them for this. That is so reflective. That I forgot how shiny these phone or these iPods were. I mean, it's pretty unreal, honestly. It is. I have an iPod touch 3g that i bought second hand and it is scratched all the hell but this is this is beautiful oh what is that i want to say maybe it's just residue but there is this like almost kind of looks like a scuff ah, let's try and power this on and 
to nobody's surprise, this thing is dead. I cannot get over how awesome it looks. I don't even know if I want, I have, I was gonna say, I was gonna try and save the accessories, you know, keep them in their original wrapping, but honestly at this point, why not? Why not get the full unboxing experience? Okay, so bad news, this thing is dead. So I plugged it in my PlayStation, which I think was about maybe three watts to boot up. You'd see the Apple logo and then it would die. And then it would show the Apple logo again and then it would die. I then plugged it into a five watt USB brick and it turned on. It showed the iTunes restore logo. So I let it charge for maybe 15, 20 minutes just so it could have a little bit of battery. But unfortunately when I unplugged it from the wall outlet, it died. And when I went to go plug it into my computer to restore it with iTunes, it never turned on. And I was just like, oh, well, you know, maybe I got to let it charge for a little bit longer. I had it plugged in to a wall outlet for like four days, almost five days, and it is still dead. So I put it back in its original packaging or wrapping or whatever you call this. I did my best. I, I tried putting it over the stove a little bit to get out these air bubbles, but there's no passing that off. Not like I would even try. It's just nice to uh, keep the original packaging, especially since I can't do anything else with this. I kind of assumed it wouldn't be perfect. Uh, I wish it didn't come to this, but hey, at least I do have a iPod Touch fourth generation that has a pristine housing. Um, the silver is reflective as hell and it's shiny and that's not something you see a lot anymore so definitely something cool to go into my collection unfortunate that i couldn't get into the device and show you guys around i think i was 4.1 maybe i really wish it worked out differently but if you guys want to see me do a review of the iphone or of this iphone 4s in 2023 it's running ios 6.1.3 it's jailbroken let me know i'm gonna load it up with all my favorite games from my childhood. I already got Flappy Bird and Minecraft Lite on here. I'm thinking of Angry Birds, stuff like that. I wanna do just kind of like a walkthrough of this device. So if you wanna see that, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I've officially decided in this past week to name this channel Apple Archive because it just makes the most sense. I have so many Apple products I don't know what to do with. So why not make videos about it? Anyways, thanks for watching guys. See you later.